Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're doing an Android 101 post on how to make your wallpaper constantly change. Okay, so then if you want your own images, uh, download them off the internet. And then we're going to plug in our phone via USB. And mount the SD card so we can transfer files to it. And this way it pops up as a drive on our computer. So here it is right here, with all of our stuff in it. And then we're gonna take our pictures that we wanted. So here I have three pictures that I downloaded. You don't have to name them anything in particular. They have to be in a folder though. So then we're gonna take that folder and copy it and then go to our SD card and I'm gonna put it in media paste okay okay now once you have the pictures that you want in a folder on your device we're gonna go to the market and we're gonna search for a program called Wall Switch. Uh, there's a few different ones out there that'll do the same thing. You can search for background switcher, wallpaper switcher, whatever, and you'll have a bunch that'll come up. I use this one uh, just because it's very simple and easy to use. So we're gonna click on that and install it and wait for it to install. Okay, and then once it's done installing, we're gonna open it. And we're gonna to go to settings, not switch now yet. Processing method, this is how it chooses how to either stretch them or cut the images uh, to make them fit on screen, so we'll just leave that at auto. Auto switch is what we're talking about basically, is gonna allow it to switch the wallpapers automatically. So we're gonna turn that on. Next, we're gonna select our interval. It does it at 30 minutes um, by default, so you can change that to whatever you want. We're just gonna leave it at 30. Then, wallpaper folders. Now this is where it's automatically going to find any folders on your SD card or your internal storage that have images in them. Um, so you'll see it automatically found the Android Backgrounds folder that I put in media on my SD card. Um, you can check off as many of these as you want or uncheck them so you only get one folder. So let's say I only want the images to play from that one folder, so those three images I put in there. So I'm going to uncheck everything and just have that checked. Now, it has low performance mode. What this does is it kind of makes the transitions take a little bit longer, um, but it does make them a little smoother uh, and doesn't use as much resources. So I always would turn that on. And once we're done that, we can hit back and click switch now, and it'll set the first wallpaper. Hit home to double check. So there it is in the background. And then every 30 minutes, it'll change to another one uh, within that same folder. And again, you can add more images to that folder as you go. Uh, to get as many images as you want switching throughout. Okay, so now if you want to turn this off and go back to having a regular wallpaper, uh, what I've noticed is that if you go to menu, wallpapers, let's say you just select a wallpaper, uh, in 30 minutes or whatever your interval was set for that program, it's going to switch them back. Um, so what you need to do is you need to then open that wall switch program again and go to settings and turn auto switch off. This way now you just have your regular uh, wallpaper and you've turned off the auto switching. Alternatively, you can also uninstall the program, of course. And that's it, enjoy.